and they're off in the Dubai duty-free Shirkar Cup dash intrinsic bond got away very well and so too did Michaela's boy the Cerise Cap Haley Turner the near side bond chairman Jao Marrera away very smartly just away from T Spirit and Declan McDonough in fourth place then Kazuo Yokoyama on Rogue Lightning a black cap in company with the two-time previous winner Tiz Marvelous judicial is well back with Dream Composer Frankie pushing along they've completed two furlongs Chipstead towards the rear Thor Hammer Hansen along with Existent. So the field have gone by halfway, running towards the two. Michaela's boy is driven. T Spirit, the near side, Bond Chairman coming on the extreme right. Dream Composer under pressure, looking to make some ground in company with Tiz Marvelous. Intrinsic Bond is making a bit as well under Matthew Chadwick and Rogue Lightning also. The rest of the world hit the front here. Over on the far side of the course, Intrinsic Bond and Rogue Lightning. These two have it here. And it's Kazuo Yokoyama taking over on Rogue Lightning. And what a dream debut at Ascot this is. Kazuro Yokoyama wins on Rogue Lightning 2, Intrinsic Bond second. Dream Composer next in the field ahead of Chipstead. Two miles the trip this time and uh, they're off in the Dubai duty-free Shergar Cup stairs. Over the two miles, Throne Hall got a pretty good start, so too did Frankie on Zoffi over on the far side and on the outside. There's no mad scramble for the early lead. Luke Morris and the Grand Vizier well to the fore and also Berkshire Rocco and uh, Matthew Chadwick. But it's Throne Hall that has the advantage to in second position at the Grand Vizier. Zoffi is in third place and fourth early is at Berkshire Rocco. Two lengths then to the the fifth place Pridwin and Declan McDonough in a red cap on the outside of Safi Osborne on the best turned out winner All Right Sunshine. Next in the field taking a bit of a keen hold is Law of the Sea and Zhao Marrera just in advance of East Asia and Hayley Turner and the back two post impression is Tom Marquand and last is Holly Doyle on the favourite The Very Man in no rush in last position as they come to the end of their first half mile in the stairs and it is Olivier Pellier leading on Throne Hall to in second position Luke Morris and the Grand Vizier the horse who was second in the Queen Alexandra at the Royal Meeting this year in third place this season's Chester Cup runner-up Zoffi Frankie well poised in third and being followed by Berkshire Rocco was second in the St Ledger three years ago racing in fourth place Berkshire Rocco all right, Sunshine is next. The purple cap stood on the inside of Pridwen. And then Law of the Sea still pulling towards the rear in company with East Asia. And Post Impressionist is second last. And the very man who went so close to winning at Galway is last of all under Holly Doyle. So they continue on their journey down towards Swinley Bottom. And at a big price, it's Thrown Hall that leads to the Grand Vizier in second place. Zoffi is still in third. Not much change in the play. None of those towards the back making a move yet as they reach the halfway point in our second race today. Thrown Hall to the Grand Vizier, Zoffi in third, and then Berkshire Rocco still in fourth, ahead of All Right Sunshine. Pridwen is next in the field, just closing up a little bit on the front two now. East Asia and Law of the Sea still side by side, with two behind on the inside of the very man is a Post Impressionist, but it is still Thrown Hall that has the advantage here. They now have less than three quarters of a mile to cover. Thrown Hall with the Grand Vizier within a length on the outside. The Europe team from Great Britain and Ireland and now the Grand Vizier just starting to threaten to engage Throne Hall. Zoffi is still in third with Berkshire Rocco on the outside of that. There's then a length and a half to All Right Sunshine and Pridwen, followed by Law of the Sea, East Asia, the very man and post-impressionist Holly Doyle alongside Tom Marquand at the back as they now come inside their final four furlongs here and about to turn for home. So Throne Hall and the Grand Vizier, they've had things their own way in front. Zoffi is now getting a squeeze from Frankie who removes a set of goggles for a, a clear view of what's ahead as they turn for home inside the three. Berkshire Rocco driven in fourth. Then all right, Sunshine. The Grand Vizier on the outside of Throne Hall. Zoffi with a huge chance in third place. Then Berkshire Rocco. Pridwen trying to stay on from the back and down the outside. Holly Doll and the very man making very solid ground. They have a furlong and a half to go. And it is the Grand Vizier. Here comes the very man on the outside. Berkshire Rocco is rallying. Zoffi hasn't picked up, but the very man has taken over from last to first. They now have half a furlong to go, and it's Holly Doyle and the very man in front, striding clear of Berkshire Rocco in second. The Grand Vizier is in third, but it's the very man in the stairs. Second, Berkshire Rocco in third place, the Grand Vizier.
Olivier Pellier coming to take them along again. Wooten Sun and uh, Holly Doll, the grey cap handy in second on the outside. Leia Kell and Jao Moreira, the yellow hat. They're being followed by Knowlton Cross and Hayley Turner. Thor Hammer Hansen and Max Mayhem on the inside of that pace looks reasonable. They're being followed by Kitsune Power and Kazuo Yokoyama on the outer of Luke Morris and the best turned out winner and a leap. The back three, Scampi and Safi Osborne in advance of Frankie Dettori and Pride of Priory, who is on the inner of Declan McDonough and Dark Jedi. As it is, Youthful King, two-time winner at Windsor this summer, and striding on has gone three or four lengths clear as they head towards Swinley Bottom and come to the end of their first four furlongs. And Youthful King is just uh, running away a little bit here, has opened up by six or seven to Wooten Sun in second place, the old Newton Cup winner being followed by Knowlton Cross. On the outside still is... continues to lead, but the margin is down to about three now, with Wooten Sun in second. Leia Kell has seen plenty of daylight on the outside and is being followed by Knowlton Cross. And then Max Mayhem just nudged along on the inside. Then Kitsune Power. Luke Morris getting to work on Ander Leap. And then Scampi. Frankie shaking the reins at Pride of Priory and Dark Jedi at the back. So Youthful King's lead drastically reduced here, running towards the three. In second position is Wooten Sun, poised to mount to challenge Holly Doyle again. Knowlton Cross, Leia Kell is driven on the outside. Then Max Mayhem, Youthful King trying to keep up the gallop here, running down towards the two. But Wooten Sun is ready to take him, and Wooten Sun goes into the lead, and it's Holly Doyle again. Down the outside, Scampi is staying on powerfully under Safi Osborne to mount quite a significant threat here as he looks very tired now. Wooten Sun and Scampi, his old rival, comes to join him. A furlong to go. Holly and Safi, the near side, Scampi getting to the leader, Wooten Sun who rallies on the inside. Very little to choose between them here. The near side is Scampi. On the inside is Wooten Sun. It's close. It's a judge's verdict. The ladies come well. Ten of them set, and they're off the Dubai duty free Shergar Cup mile. The Wizard of Eye away pretty well. Frankie got away all right on Empire State of Mind and coming across XL Power, the red cap Declan McDonough from the outside. Very prominent is uh, Foxtel, who's running keen and being tracked by positive impact, and then Empire State of Mind on the inside of that. in front as the field have completed their first three furlongs running towards halfway. Jao Moreira and at Foxtel leading to XL Power in second position. Tracking next is the Wizard of Eye running on the outside of Positive Impact and Hayley Turner. Perotto is next with Empire State of Mind then Rainbow Fire ahead of Freescape and the back to Escobar and company with Silent Film. They're about to run inside the three in the mile and turn for home and it is still Foxtel that has the advantage. X Excel Power is in second place. Positive Impact ridden along. The Wizard of Eye the outside. Then Perotto and Thor Hammer Hansen looking to make some progress. Empire State of Mind with a bit to do as Foxtel tries to hang tough here. A furlong and a half to go. Looking to turn away XL Power. The Wizard of Eye the outside with Positive Impact. And then Perotto and Empire State of Mind plugging on. But Foxtel is still keeping galloping here. Chased hard by Perotto in second. Then Empire State of Mind. Foxtel with his head a little high, but he still has has the advantage under Joe Marrera, but Perotto is thrusting! Snatched it, maybe. Oh, it'll go to the judge. And uh, they're off. Off and racing in the Classic over a mile and a half. A good break was uh, made by Leica Tiger, just sitting in behind in the early stages. French Invasion. And...
Japan. And coming into a handy position as well is Regal Empire, the grey cap under Holly Doll. They're followed by the Philly Satin, a red cap Declan McDonough alongside Kazuo Yokoyama on Sovereign Spirit. Safi Osborne, the purple hat like a tiger, is next in the field. And the two at the back are Struth and Golden Move as the field continue. They've completed three furlongs and the lead is with French Invasion. French Invasion in front under Tom Marquand to Holly Doyle in second on Regal Empire in Tinzo Luke Morris on the outside of Satin. And they are then being followed by Golden Maverick. And then on the outside of the field, Haley Turner on Rajasthan and on the inside of that one. Golden Maverick looking for a four-timer, but now driven by Thor Hammer Hansen. Struth and Matthew Chadwick not making a move yet in company with Golden Move Olivier Pellier held up at the back. And in last place is Sovereign Spirit, the best turned out winner. So they've got three and a half furlongs left to go. And it's Tom Marquand from Holly Doyle at the moment, as it is French Invasion just to Regal Empire in second place in Tinzo with a chance on the outside of Satin. Then Rajasthan like a tiger and Golden Maverick still rousted along French Invasion trying to kick away from Regal Empire in Tinzo, making it a line of three on the outside, two furlongs left to go. French Invasion and Regal Empire chased hard by in Tinzo. Satin is in fourth place, then Golden Maverick, Struth down the outside in company with Sovereign Spirit, the rest of the world closing in in Tinzo and Regal Empire, the first two. Just about half a furlong to go, Struth is still gaining. In Tinzo, the grey, the far side, Regal Empire, the near side, Struth and Matthew Chadwick, three in a line here, Regal Empire on the inside, Holly Doyle has written a second winner of the day and a thrill. And they're off in the sprint. Battle Dubai a little bit slow and likewise Alpha Capture. A good start made by Bonnie Angel over on the far side in company with Washington Heights, Holly Doyle and Quinault is blazing a trail in the centre. The green under Luke Morris. The near side, he's a monster. Also fairly handy is Radio Gugu, a beige cap and then tracked by Russet Gold. Bonnie Angel's just drifted back a little bit with Battle Dubai and then Zaman Jamil, the purple cap dark trooper, is towards the rear in front of only. Alpha Capture as the field head towards halfway in the sprint, the final race of the day. It's Quinault in front, being challenged by Radio Gugu, pushing along Holly Doyle on Washington Heights. Bonnie Angel over on the left far side, coming through his Battle Dubai. Quinault still held together. They're being followed by Russet Gold, making ground from the back is Dark Trooper. They've got a furlong and a half left to go. Quinault has got challengers here. Radio Gugu, one of them, Washington Heights and over the top, Dark Trooper who just swerves left, just comes across them Dark Trooper but was clear at the time running towards the last half furlong Safi Osborne and Dark Trooper wandering about in front all over the shot but striding clear chased all the way by Russet Gold but it's Dark Trooper that wins the sprint second was Russet Gold in third position then was Quinault and tight for the next spot Radio Gugu and Washington Heights